Welcome back to Block TV. Now every day our team members scour the World Wide Web for the best offerings on crypto and blockchain. And today we have a very special scary Zachary Hennessy who's known to suck a mean public decentralized ledger. Ha! Scary. Scary, scary stuff. Now Zachary, what do you have for us today on this very special edition of Halloween? Hey, by the Suck way, the you missed an opportunity. You could have said uh, crypto and, and block pain. Ooh, how about uh, blood chain? Yeah, that's also an option. Anyways, yeah. hey, holy shit! The Bitcoin 2020 conference, we're just going right into the news, by the way. Holy shit! The Bitcoin 2020 conference has announced that one of their speakers will be none other than the king of the kickflip McTwist and the humble master of ratitude, Tony Hawk. They say, for our next speaker announcement, we wanted a Bitcoiner who has taken a counterculture mainstream, super stoked, to announce Tony Hawk as that featured speaker. This is a telling strategic move which shows that the conference is targeting a unique demographic, that being 22 to 32 year olds who definitely know how to ollie and are also really good at playing pro skater. Mr. Hawk himself retweeted the announcement saying, looking forward to it. I've been riding the Bitcoin, tra this is not a Tony Hawk uh, Bitcoin transitions for over five years now, which reminds me, should I bring my ramp? Um, let me think about it. Uh, yeah, Tony. You should bring your ramp. Everybody wants to see you use your ramp to do an aerial 900. Why would you ever ask? You know, when, when actually when I, when I read that tweet, I wasn't sure if he, when he said to bring his ramp, he was doing like a, a pun for like an on-ramp to crypto. Was he going for that? I mean, I don't know. The only on-ramp that I want to see is him on-ramping onto like a cool vert course and he could go off the half pipe and do like an impossible and then land no problem and then it'd be awesome. Mm. Tony mm. Hawk's so cool. John I hope, Carvalho. I, I, hope, I hope that Tony Hawk uh, does a 920 uh, and kind of makes Bitcoin jump up. So actually he's, he's going the opposite direction. He's done the 900 and now he'll have to do a, a 450 because of the halving. It mm. really is taking a strong toll I see what you did there. I see tricks. what you did there. Very clever. Yeah. John Carvalho took to Twitter to poll his followers asking, how many times have you done something that resulted in you having less total Bitcoin? Bad investment, hack, lost access, trading, spending, etc. Now the results are interesting. Apparently, 89% of respondents have made at least one bad move, and the remaining 11% are liars. Um, you know, said so we're all humans. All humans make mistakes, except you, who are a really freaky-looking clown. Yeah. Now it is spooky season, Yona. I don't know if you noticed. It's nope. spooky season. But uh, I figured we'd take a second to talk about one of the real spookiest things going on right now, which is China and all of the happenings there. From police brutality to torturous re-education, they're really not doing great right now from a humanitarian perspective. But what's even scarier is that, it's actually not that much scarier, is that folks in the cryptosphere are kind of ignoring that in favor of hype about Jinping endorsing blockchain. Now I get that it's good for Bitcoin, but we should also have a healthy dosage of skepticism in our narrative, and I don't feel like I'm seeing that. Then again, I am literally a clown, so you know, there's that. Anyways, Binance's CEO CZ had a Twitter live stream yesterday where he weighed in on what's going on with China's involvement in crypto. I guess a couple of months ago when I did the AMA, a lot of the questions were about USA. Uh, understandably, this time I think quite a lot of the questions about China. So um, let, me, let me address that uh, first. Um, so China, I think most of you guys probably uh, uh, already seen in the news, uh, is making some really big moves in the crypto sphere. So I think that uh, I think that's actually really good for our industry. Um, a lot of questions are um, asking about. So is, um, is is a central bank participating in crypto good or not? Um, again, my my view is very simple. I think the more participation they are, the better. Um, it's similar to when people say, hey, are stable coins really cryptocurrencies or not? Um, that's not so much the question in my opinion. The question is really, um, do they increase the freedom of money? Do they help the money flow? Um, so if they make it easier for people to use money or for people to come into cryptocurrency, then that's probably a good thing. So uh, I am very much for cryptocurrencies and I very much welcome uh, more countries to uh, participate in crypto. Yeah. 
So China joining the space is a positive, says he. He goes on to elaborate, Yona, and we will sh soon see that uh, they may not be joining the way that we're thinking. And um, China is doing a number of things. I think China is very pro blockchain. Uh, in none of the releases, China says they're pro Bitcoin. I think that's still the uh, thinking of um, using blockchain without a current, without a cryptocurrency, or at least minimize the uh, uh, promotion of a cryptocurrency. I think there's uh, the idea is to have one um, cryptocurrency, but I don't. I doubt that will work too well. To be honest, I don't think people can. I, I actually don't understand how you can have a blockchain without cryptocurrency, without the incentives, uh, without the network fees. Um, the crypto, uh, the blockchains don't get a lot of adoption. Right, and he he was talking about how China definitely pro blockchain. We'll see if they're pro crypto. Do you know what uh, China is for sure anti? Uh, what's that? Winnie the Pooh costumes. That's right. Yes. Winnie the Pooh costumes. We actually received a letter from Z Xi himself, who said, uh, "If I see you wearing a Winnie the Pooh costume, then uh, you're fired effective immediately." That's a joke. We are not employed by the president of China. If you ask me. The scariest thing is that there's legitimate reason to be excited about China joining the sphere, despite their terrible treatment of so many folks. As scary as a dichotomy. Then again, nobody really gives the U.S. shit for all of its stuff neither. So, you know, what do I know? Again, literally a clown. So, it's funny because when you're even when you're not dressed up like a clown, you literally act like a clown here at Block TV every day. There. I always try and keep it. You know, it's internalized most of the year, and and now it's my time to shine, baby. Zachary, the thing I love about you yeah. is that even if this whole uh, reporter thing does not work out, you definitely have a fallback job, or maybe even a fall forward job, depending on how your views of clowns. You know, <laughs> I think uh, clowns are coming back into vogue. Thanks, Mr. Skarsgård. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna push it, get, get, get him out of here, because uh, it, now it's time for, uh, for me to do the outro. Hey, you're watching Suck My Blockchain, it's over now, but we're gonna keep reporting on all kinds of important stuff like China here on Block TV, so keep it locked. <laughs>